Mark, how big of a problem is identity verification and how does Glider help its customers address this issue? It, it's, it's a big problem. Um, it, it's a big problem in that if you have one candidate that makes it through an interview process utilizing assessment functionality and they turn out to not be the person that took the assessment, the person that interviewed, if there's some level of candidate bait and switch, it dilutes the potency of the assessment process holistically. We've taken a very strong approach to this. So, you know, and look, I don't want to give Glider the credit for our functionality around this. This is client and market driven. So we'll have a client call us with a use case to say, hey, we heard another voice and it felt like our candidate was lip syncing while someone else off camera was actually answering the questions. And so we came out with lip sync functionality. So now on top of our facial recognition, our software allows for a warning that says, hey, the facial movements are not matching the audio that we're picking up. But we're doing everything we can to ensure that the candidate that takes the assessment is the candidate that interviews, is the candidate that onboards. And we have functionality specific to that. So at any time, an audit can be created. A, a great example of that is, so when, a, when an assessment is taken and that candidate submitted and a manager wants to move forward, if they use the Glider platform to also interview the candidate, that interview works a lot like a lot of the platforms we use every day. However, the interview starts with the candidate taking a picture of themselves. If for any reason the candidate's picture that showed up for the interview doesn't match the candidate's picture that took the assessment, we notify the hiring manager right away, the interview's canceled, and now the manager doesn't spend one minute of their day interviewing a candidate that probably has some suspicious activity in that hiring process. So we've invested a lot in authenticating the candidate, the candidate's identity. Again, it's not to catch cheaters, it's to ensure that our hiring group of managers, program offices have a high degree of confidence in the output of the glider assessment. That's amazing. So on onboarding day, how do how do how do your customers know that the candidate who applied and interviewed and took the assessment is the candidate who starts work on day one? Yeah, great question. So we talked about how everything starts with a picture. Once that candidate gets an offer and is onboarded and provisioned within an organization, and I get my mark.brodsky at glider.ai email address, Glider is able to send a final invitation to now their newly provisioned corporate email account, where all we're asking that candidate to do is take a picture of themselves. So now there is a full audit trail that says the candidate you, that you assessed is the candidate that you interviewed and is also the candidate that you've now onboarded. 